Hi, I'm Courtney Wilson, the director of the B&O Railroad Museum here in Baltimore, Maryland. Over the course of my many years here at the museum, a lot of interesting people have walked through our doors. On a recent occasion, a very interesting gentleman came to visit, and we were able to capture a part of his very, very personal story. It's a story the likes of which I've never heard before. So today I'm going to introduce you to Mr. William Owen Cochran. You see, Mr. Cochran was born in a boxcar. That's right, born in a boxcar on November 26th, 1927. And to this day, he still carries the nickname Boxcar Billy. William Cochran's father, James Beard Cochran, worked as a surveyor on the Louisville and Nashville Railroad. In those days, railroad surveyors and maintenance crews often spent months at a time in remote sections of the countryside. He, his wife Rachel, and their four children, Dorothy, Bill, James, and Richard, all lived in boxcars while the crew was out in the field. William, however, had the sole distinction of actually being born in a boxcar. The Great Depression, life was difficult for many, but to Billy, life as a child literally living on the railroad was pretty happy-go-lucky. Let's listen in as he describes his early life and shares some of his story with us. We lived on the boxcar, and um, we had um, probably eight boxcars. One for the men, one for the kitchen, one for the dining room, and then one for our uh, residents. My mother was a pianist, and she told her dad that she didn't want, wouldn't come to the boxcars unless she could get her grand piano there. And that took almost all of one, one of the boxcars. When he would get done with each job, they would um, bring a steam engine in, would put pillows against all of the china and tie down the piano, and we'd chuck down the road to the next station. So and, and what about the facilities, if I can use that word? Number? I was asking my sister the other day, and she says, I don't remember where we went to the bathroom, but he probably told us to go into the woods. We ate with the men, and Willie was our chef. Most southern meals that you can think of. Homemade biscuits, um, grits, um, pork, chicken. We ate good. We all know kids love to play, but how did you entertain yourself? There will be a train coming by every day, and the guy in the mail car knew that the three kids of us were there, and he would throw out a banana, orange, or a grapefruit every day for us. <laughs> and that was the excitement of waiting to, for that passenger train to come by and the mail guy throw something out there. We got a bicycle for Christmas one time and it had a sidecar on it for my brother and I. And we had no place to ride it. But we finally got to a railroad platform and we could ride around then. Many of us know that the Great Depression was a very tough time for many. Yet your dad had a job and an income. Can you share some stories about that? There were no, nothing but hobos that will come by. They were all looking for something. These guys had a job, got paid, and they got a place to eat and a place to sleep. And in those days, that was a really pleasant thing to be in a position of. People that were cold and didn't have any food or place to live, they would just get a big lump of coal and go down underneath the bridge and build a fire. And he was supposed to yell at them and then he said, no, I'm not, they need to have some coal to stay warm. And finally, Mr. Cochran, tell us how you got that nickname, Boxcar Billy. And then they had a big write-up of me in um, Union Carbide. A lot of people had never heard of anybody living on a boxcar. And they called me Boxcar Billy from there. No. <laughs> but railroading gets in your blood, and it's still there with me. And this 
This is the way I like to travel. I'd like to thank Mr. Cochran for sharing his story with us today. Now back to Michael Gross, the host of the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. This is Michael Gross, and thanks for watching the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. The Tank Engine is visiting b and Railroad Museum April 27th through 29th and May 4th through 6th with a trainload of family fun. Kids of all ages can enjoy a ride with Thomas the Tank Engine and meet Sir Topham Hatt. There'll be storytelling, live entertainment, and much, much more. Tickets are on sale now at TicketWeb.com slash D-O-W-T or call 1-866-468-7630. Don't miss Day Out with Thomas, Mystery on the Rails Tour. Interested in learning more about the B&O Railroad Museum in Ellicott City Station? Follow us on Facebook and Twitter with daily updates on upcoming events, coupons, photographs, history, and things to do in Baltimore. You'll never be off track.